Hello and welcome to Spy Money. We're going to do a recap on this Monday, uh, March the 2nd. And we're going to go over some of the futures, a few of the big uh, stocks that we usually hit, and some of us trade. But right now we're looking at the ES, and we're looking at the 5-minute chart. Let's break that back to a 15-minute. And today, um, Friday, it started going up and stuff, and then overnight it ended up selling off and coming down. Uh, 6.45 in the morning, that's where we were. But uh, it actually ended up taking off, and if you look at how much it went up from right here all the way to the high in the after hour, went up 186 points. That is just crazy numbers. 6.43%. Uh, that is one killer move. And if we open this up and look at it a little more, we can see that it has some good pullbacks. We end up getting a bull flag in here. Uh, there's your pole. Here's your flag. And then we also had a bull pennant. So here's your uh, pole, and right there's your pennant. Right now, it's just kind of uh, hanging out there a little bit. It's not really doing a whole lot. And I would not be in the trade right now. Um, it could easily just take off either way. We're below the VWAP, and this is on the five minute. We're dropping below that 15 EMA, which is my, that's my telltale sign of what's going on. So it looks like it might go ahead and come on down. I would have to see a couple more candles down before I would uh, maybe think about shortening it. Uh, right now, I think it's just a lot of indecision right here as far as what they're going to do. If you look at the one minute, uh, you can see from, uh, from right here all the way up to there, uh, 37, or um, that's uh, 16 points, half percent. So, you know, you could, uh, on futures, you could have made some money right there. $50 a pop, you could have made an extra 800 bucks just off of this move right here. So, on uh, one contract. But we're going to go back to the 15. Uh, the futures actually look really good. The way it's moving, I'm bullish on it. But we are coming up to, let's go to the weekly. Let me show you this. We're coming up on a trend. You can see here, this trend right here is coming up. And if we zoom in, you can see how it has been respecting this trend the whole time. We're not far from there. Right now, we're at 3068. And that trend could either, for today, would be 3121, uh, which is another, uh, what's that, 40, 60 points on up. So I think that we're going to be bullish at least till there. There's a chance that it may go ahead and keep on going. But in my opinion, I think we're probably going to hit that and then we're going to sell off. Uh, that's what I estimate. Um, may not, but that's what I estimate. So, but again, I'm bullish until this trend. When it hits the trend, then we need to start thinking about what we're doing. Uh, look at gold. Gold has been pulling back, which is good. You can see there that we went up and hit the top trend, and then it started pulling back. We're in here right now. And if we come back to the 15 minute, then you can see. Where? Well, you can't, we won't go back that far. Let me do this right here. My computer crashed today, so I am in limp mode. I had to reformat it, so I'm on a brand new, um, I guess, software system. Same computer. This ended up hitting it, and then it just went ahead and sold off. That's a good sign for um, the market, because if this is selling off, that means that they're taking their money out of gold, and they're putting their money into the market so we like that so it makes it a bull market so if you're wanting to short any I would advise you to short gold and you know your futures so you, know, you could have made a lot of money on this little drop right here and then if we come back to the um, NQ a lot of people trade the Q's uh, right now be a good time to short uh, SQQQ and then you know just get into like either puts or short it or with TT TQQQ, um, you can go ahead and get some calls on that. It looks pretty good. Uh, but yeah, again, that is following kind of the same trend that um, ES is following. They both respect each other. And But see right here, this is bouncing off of the, uh, the 618 FIB. So with it bouncing there, it makes me wonder, is it going to come up and hit the bottom of this trend and then sell off? Or is it going to cross this trend and take off? That's what I'm looking at. If we come back to the four hour, you can see right there that it looks like it come down and it's just going to take off. 
So that's what we're hoping for. And I mean, that's a good sign that it would just continue to go up. Uh, this is a four hour chart. So you got one day, two days, three, you know, just kind of keeps on going. Well, actually not one day. Um, you're looking at uh, one, two, three, four. So when you start adding these up, getting into your days and looking at how it's just been really respecting this trend, then it's a good sign that's going on up. So we just need this 15 to cross that 50 and just keep on rallying up. And then you've got um, crude oil. Look at that. Today it popped up. Um, so I know Trump in the past has always said that crude oil ought to be $60 a barrel. That's his number. And if you come back to here, you can see. Uh, let's see here. Let me get I get my times. I need to change all these. So we are in this channel right here. Okay. So we have been respecting that when up and touch come down. But I think that it needs to touch right here before it goes back up. Now there's not, there's a good chance that you know maybe it's using this green one here. So it may have already hit there, but the fib is going to line up with that. So I think that we'll probably pull back, touch it, and then we'll take off. So that's my opinion on crude oil. You can see the MACD down here is trying to pull down in there. So you know, I don't necessarily trade by the MACD, but I use that as a reference. I like to look at uh, patterns. That's how I trade. And then, so that's um, the futures that we're looking at. Uh, Walmart. Did everybody see Walmart today? It took off. It's like, uh, I think, nine points that ended up going up uh, total from the bottom. Uh, so we've got eight points and, or seven, yeah, eight points and seven and a half percent that it went up today. Um, but look at this right here. If you look from there to here, it's nine percent from the very bottom to the very high today. And that's 9.72 points. I mean, that's huge for Walmart. It, Walmart usually does not move that much. So um, my computer is down, so I, I wasn't able to capitalize on that. And then if we go to, uh, let's look at VIX while we're there. I didn't pull up VIX. VIX has dropped a lot. Uh, just today, it dropped 35% from up here down to here. So 35%, if it does again tomorrow, will be right on the 20. Uh, the 20 is where we want to be as far as below the 20 in order for us to have a bull market again. Uh, when this is above 20, it's just too hard on it. Uh, it's called the fear factor. So if we can have a, another 35% drop, so if you look from right here to there, there's 36% there, depending on where you put it. And if you come from right here down, you're looking 36% to the 20. So I think tomorrow we're probably going to be uh, down below the 20 is what I'm guessing. And I hope so. I've got puts on this. I've got uh, 14 strike price on April 1st. And I've got April 1st 16 strike price. Uh, I'm wanting it down in here a little bit. And so before it ended up, um, before this thing took off, it was a lot. It was hanging out down around here. So if you look at that, you know, we're looking, you know, this is the, what, 15 and a half. So, you know, before that, it started taking off. You know, we were in the 14 range. So if I can get my... If, I, if you can drop down into that range, then I'll make a lot of money off of the puts that I bought here and bought here. So I bought puts at two different places. I didn't buy any more today. Uh, I was going to, but, you know, I'm preoccupied with the computer. So I think that we can go ahead and um, probably count on this being down to 20 tomorrow. Usually when it ramps up, it's uh, within four or five days before it actually gets back to normal. Uh, so I think that's where we're going to be. Let's look at Tesla. Tesla is rocking. I mean, it, it just took off today. So from Friday, from there, all the way up to after hours, it's went up 154 points. That's 25%. I mean, it is rocking. And it's still staying above the 15. Uh, I've got calls on it too, So, and I got them back here. Um, I actually bought 1,600 lotto calls is what I called them. Uh, they're March the 13th, I think it is. Yeah, March the 13th is what they were. So if it had continued to go and do what I thought, I mean, I would have made a bunch of money. But instead, 
it sold off on me. And I would have got rid of them, but by the time it started dropping to the next day, they were already worthless. Um, so I just went ahead and held on to them, hoping for something. Uh, I may go ahead and try to average down on them a little bit. It depends on what prices they are. But they're so far out of the money, then you know I don't even know if averaging down would help them. So that may just be a lost call on those. Uh, there wasn't much. I think I only bought a couple of them. So, But um, I've got others, but uh, that's the only ones I've got for that far out. And then uh, everybody likes space. Uh, let's take a look at space. It did great this morning. I mean, it, a lot, here's Friday. I mean, it just rocked. And then this morning, we ended up getting, what was that, 13%. It went up a total of um, three points. That's huge. That's a huge incline. And then it just sold right off, come down, and it's still selling off. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. Uh, I'm, I'm not real sure what I would do with that. Uh, I'm personally staying out of it. But I think if you, you know, maybe long it might be fine, but I don't know. Because, it, see, it's just, it's just not doing great. I think this will probably come down and test this trend line again. And if it tests that trend, let's see if we can go back into weeks. See, this is the trend of it. And, you know, it's hitting, it's just respecting it all the way through. If we go back to the daily, so actually there's a four hour. Let's see if we can do a four hour. Yeah, a four hour work. If you look, you know, it's coming up, testing the bottom of it, testing the bottom, testing the bottom. Then it comes up, and then it comes down, starts trying to test the top of it. Now we tested the top of it there. Uh, there's a good chance it's going to keep on taking off. But, you know, this right here, this was just a uh, parabolic move. I mean, it just took off. So it's hard to say right now. Uh, this big old drop was mainly off of the earnings. I had puts on this. I wrote it out till Friday morning. I uh, sold my puts right here, right before it hit the trend. The trend is where I was going for. And... Um, I ended up selling, see, I think it was like 2023, 20, I think was the bottom where I wanted. Um, so I sold right through here. So I made 400% on this move right here. I was really happy. And I stayed out of it. I haven't been in it since. Um, uh, and, you know, maybe I should have got some calls when it bounced here, but I just really wasn't sure what was going to happen with it. And I traded um, the USD and CAD. I did some Forex trading on that. I was shorting it. And I made uh, quite a bit of money on that. And let's go back to the five minute. I want to show you something. Uh, the five minute, what I was doing is, see, here's Monday, right there. Um, this morning, I got in it uh, when it crossed this 180. And I got in it with the trail stop, and it shot up, and then all of a sudden it came down, and it kicked me out. So I got back in it again. It went up, and it came down, and just it got me again. So... At this point, uh, my computer crashed at 10, so I couldn't really do anything. I couldn't see what I was doing, so I just stayed out. But um, this would have been a good move here. But I thought it was actually going to go up, but it ended up selling off. And I probably would have got stopped out on it too, but, you know, I don't know. If I, I, I was best just to stay out of it. And I also did, um, let's see, what was it? I think it was the, no, it wasn't that one. Actually, it was this one here, the euro and U.S. dollar. I got in it this morning. Uh, I was riding it, too. I thought it was just going to be you know, long on it. And it shot up, and I was making good money. All of a sudden, it come down and hit right there, and it kicked me out. It kicked my trail stop out. I had a tight one on it because I wasn't real sure how far it would go. Uh, if I'd had a bigger trail stop on it, then yeah, I would have done well. And then you know, it kicked me out probably over in here, but it would have been a good run. So that's our mar market uh, recap for uh, Monday, March the 2nd. If you'd like to learn more about the uh, charting, how I chart, how I use my indicators, and how we trade futures, Forex, and options, then check us out on um, uh, Discord. Uh, we have a link at the bottom in the description. It's $50 a month. And that's all you get, uh, all you have to pay. And it's uh, really good that we've got a lot of people in there that are uh, brand new to trading. We've got people that are advanced traders. We all help each other out and just uh, have a good time in there. Uh, we talk about our trades, talk about what we're doing. Uh, we talk about the news and, and we just talk about you know things in our life, you know what we're doing and stuff. It's not, it's not all about work. We actually have fun in there as well. And we post our trades. Uh, we don't advise anybody to follow anybody's trades, including mine.
But uh, we post our trades in there to where everybody can see what someone else is doing. Maybe it's something that you wouldn't have thought of. And then we go ahead and look at the uh, trade and look at the charts and see if it's something we want to get in. So you can actually make some money based off of other people's trades after you look at your own charts. So if you're interested, um, uh, click the link down below. Let me know. It tells you how to get set up and, and get you in there. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to this um, video so we can get more people involved and all of us learn. You all have a great day.